Hey anesthesia professionals, welcome to part two of what's old is new from the Anesthesia Patient Safety Foundation. If you haven't checked out part one yet, go ahead and do that. Or you could check out the latest APSF newsletter article from anesthesiologists Connie Chung and Joseph Sokol. Today, as promised, we're going to learn about amisulpride. This is a dopamine D2 antagonist, very similar to droperidol and procloperazine, except there's some really important distinctions. Amisulpride has less ability to cross the blood-brain barrier, and it has less affinity for cholinergic, histamine, and adrenergic receptors. This makes it less sedating and better tolerated than other dopaminergic drugs. It also has less of an incidence of extrapyramidal side effects and does not seem to appreciably prolong the QT interval to cause arrhythmias. Since amisulpride was recently FDA approved, you may want to keep an eye out for this new medication. Have you tried it yet? Let us know what you think.